So April 28th was day seven, and that was our first morning staying the full day in Brooklyn. And Valerie got up really early, and... I decided to uh, go and um, explore a little bit on my own. So I went to Little Skips for coffee, and then I went to Mr. Kiwi's for some Greek yogurt. And then I hopped on a subway and went to 42nd Street. And then I must have hopped on another subway, and I went to Tobacco. And it was early, so none of the stores were open, but there was some really cool shops there, including a balloon store that had like superhero balloons and animal balloons and very cool clothes that I took some pictures of. And I did some shopping at a store called Strawberry, and then I went home, and Terry was waiting for me. So then we went to meet my friend Richard Rogers, who is another uh, Billboard music chart fanatic expert. And uh, he lives in Astoria, so we decided we would catch the subway and go up into Queens, Astoria area, so we could meet him and his wife for lunch. Fortunately, she had to work by 2 o'clock, and we didn't get there till about 2.20. So we had lunch with Richard, and that was over $100 for lunch. And then from there, we got on the subway and decided that we would go <coughs> to the Lincoln Center because Richard had told me that the Lincoln Center Library of New York had microfilm of every issue of Billboard magazine, all 117 years worth. And so then I was quite curious if they happened to have old variety magazines so I could do Planet of the Eight movie research. And sure enough, yes, they do. They have all hundred and six years worth of variety magazines on microfilm. So it took us quite a time to get that all figured out, but we were able to go back and look at the 1968 variety magazines on microfilm from February to May, and I was able to do some research on box office figures. Meanwhile, while I was doing that with Richard for over an hour, Valerie was sitting over at the Avery Theater in the coffee shop, wondering where we were, for an hour, like two hours at least, he was there. He was supposed to come back and get me. I don't think so. We didn't have our phones yet because nobody had made their way back to Staten Island to get the phone charger, so I couldn't call him. I didn't know where he was. I went to look for him and I couldn't find him. I thought that he couldn't find me. And so I couldn't find her. He couldn't find me. I couldn't find him. What are we going to do? So I missed her by a couple minutes, so she decides to catch a cab all the way into Harlem to the Apollo Theater because we're going to see Sting at his Symphonia concert. Put the camera on yourself when you're talking. And uh, Symphonicity, I guess it was called. Show was starting at 8 o'clock, so I waited at the Lincoln Center until 7.30 and figured, well, if Valerie, I can't find her. So I told Richard I might as well just go. So I took the 30-minute ride on the subway to West Harlem and without a map, just kind of wandered my way to where I thought the Apollo Theater was. And I eventually got there about five after eight. And the show had already Quarter started. Valerie was meanwhile standing out on the street there, uh, talking to some dude. She had already decided to dump me and oh, yeah. pick up a local guy. Yeah, right. And it was so. pitch dark by eight o'clock. Yeah, it was dark. It was dark. There was an old man that came up to me and started talking to me. He noticed I had a video camera. And he asked if I would take his picture, and I said I couldn't, but I could take his video. So he was starting to tell me his life story when Terry arrived. So. so then we quickly rushed into the show, and I had thought Sting was probably doing a solo act, but it turned out he had a 35 piece orchestra that they had put together. And so they played uh, all of Sting's hits, of course, some great songs, great orchestral arrangements. Um, and he did uh, Every Breath You Take was one of his encore songs. His, his son was there too, doing a song. That's right, his son played a song. It was a, really a good beautiful group. concert. It was a really, just a really beautiful concert. It was really lovely to have all the instruments there. And, and so from there we took the long subway ride home, back to Brooklyn for the night. And now it's Thursday, so I must have definitely watched American Idol 
top six that night while Valerie slept because I'd watch TV usually till about 4 a.m. on the laptop. Yep. 